as you may know that Saudi Arabia has really high demand on housing and uh, since uh, they are the high demand you know uh, required faster way of doing houses first of all that we as you may know that we purchased two printers the first one uh, we used it for the, our first project it's a villa in, in, in Saudi Arabia that is called Shams al Riyadh. This villa was uh, the, the tallest villa was printed in the world until now. It's 9.9 .9 meter. And also, it's the largest on a build up area, which is 345 uh, square meter. We've done this villa in a really good matter of time with help of uh, one of your unique engineer uh, Zaid Marmash that he helped us with this first project. So the second project we used our experience with the first villa and we finished the second villa within 26 days. Uh, we're talking about uh, the skeletons and the printing and also the first MEB fix. We have to convince the end user that it's more, it's four times more stronger than the, any uh, commercial building. One of the uh, other challenges, we have to convince them that it, it has a really high insulation. The layers, because usually the people here are is very familiar with very smooth uh, surfaces inside and outside because of the plastering. But with the layers, that's, it's, not, it's not acceptable yet. It's better than the commercial because we are using many different technology. We use one of the new technology here in Saudi Arabia, it's called nanotechnology. This is a type of a paint that will be, also give a high U value on, on the house itself. So this one reduce almost 30% power saving. So uh, as you can see, the, the evolving of for the 3D printing is, is going really fast and really rapid. If you go back two to three years ago, uh, the, the whole industry has had, uh, come a long way up to here. Uh, the idea is, is to is a proof of concept for the 3D printing uh, buildings that uh, at a certain point in the future they will replace the traditional uh, building methods, which is the should be faster, uh, more economical, and uh, the three of uh, for design and architectural design. Why COVID exactly? Because uh, COVID are considered one of the main and top players for 3D printing uh, around the world. And more specifically, it's uh, for for the advanced machine for the Pod 2 that we used here in our projects, and the full integration, the full system, not only the printer as for the uh, mixer and the, the whole setup for the printing, which is considered uh, the most sophisticated and yet the most practical uh, in the 3D printing domain. Mainly we targeted like three main uh, problems, which are for the material availability and using concrete mix, which we succeeded to, to, to do it here, and for printing at site with uncontrolled environment, as well as the, the, the enormous, uh, enormous uh, dimensions that we printed for the villa, the 345 square meters for 9.9 .9 meters high. And it couldn't be done with, with any other uh, printer in the market. So this is why COVID.